Hi, and welcome to Low Carb Cocktails. I'm your host, Frank. And just because you've chosen a low carb lifestyle doesn't mean you can't enjoy a great cocktail. And that's why I'm here to teach you how to take your favorite cocktail and cocktails in general and enjoy them low carb. Let's get started. Today we're gonna be making a rum sour. This uses the same recipe as a Boston sour, but instead of the whiskey, we're gonna use an aged rum. The ingredients you're gonna need today, of course, is an aged rum. We'll be using Bayou aged rum today, Bayou Select. Now, the next thing you're gonna be needing is a lemon. The last thing is gonna be a simple syrup. Now, uh, I came home to do a video and have a cocktail. Um, and I found out that my wife used the last of our simple syrup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our simple syrup on demand. Pretty simple. Water, a couple of packs of Splenda, eh, two, three, however sweet you like it. So this is gonna be the ingredients you're gonna need. A simple syrup, lemon juice, and an aged rum. And that's gonna be it. Oh, and the dreaded egg. I love an egg on a sour. Um, it just gives that that nice head, um, really gives up a, a really good froth on top of it. Um, really uh, just it helps the flavors coat the tongue as you're drinking it. Um, just really enhances everything, keeps the flavor on, on your tongue a little bit longer. Um, don't panic. Everybody freaks out over a, a raw egg in a cocktail. But with the citrus juice and the shaking it all up, it it's basically kills any enzymes that are in there. Um, so with the tools you're going to need, your handy dandy shaker. We're going to need uh, a Hawthorne strainer and a fine mesh strainer. We're going to need some measuring devices. I have my measuring cup and jigger. You're going to need cutting board, knife, and lemon squeeze. And if you want, um, you can use one of these little nifty little things I grabbed at the kitchen store right by where I right by where I work. Um, it's an egg separator. So you put that on top, drop your egg in there. It'll separate the yolk from the white. White drops to the top. Yolk, eh, chunk it, chug it, whatever you like. Now, if you don't have an egg separator, you can just kind of go back and forth on the uh, inside the shell once you crack it and separate the egg white that way. Just be kind of careful on that one. So let's kind of put some of this stuff away and let's kind of get started. We'll use our strainers later and we'll kind of get this stuff started. So an on-demand simple syrup, I said for uh, the sugar-free simple syrup, use two or three um, packets of Splenda, however you like. Each pack of Splenda has less than a gram of carbs, so we're roughly about a half. So if I'm using three packs, you're looking at a gram and a half of carbs. One ounce of water added to that. And there's your one ounce. Just give that a good little swirl. Start to dissolve the Splenda. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because you will be shaking this up again later. Just get most of it dissolved. There you go, that's the most of it. So next we're gonna go ahead and go to our lemon. Again, if you watch some of the other videos about lemons, you wanna go ahead and cut the tips off. It makes it easier when you put it in your squeezer where it, the top will lay flat and it'll go in. And uh, because I'm an idiot and I never figured out how to use these until I watched a few videos, um, don't put it in like that. It's not the way it goes. You'll put the cut side down. Um, yeah, never used one of these until recently and it took me a little bit to figure that out and it was juice everywhere. It wasn't pretty. So we do one ounce of lemon juice. So like, most of the sours that you're gonna find, you'll use two parts of spirit, one part sweet, and one part sour. And that's almost one ounce. There you go. And uh, one ounce of lime juice has two grams of carbs. So we're looking at one and a half grams of carb from the Splenda, one, um, two, sorry, two grams of carbs from the lemon. So we're at three grams of carbs. Now let's go ahead and add our rum. So we're going to add two ounces of our rum. That'll bring that up to four ounces of liquid. There you go. And we'll 
put that in our tin. Now for that delicious egg white, it really makes a difference in what you do. Now, if you don't have one of these, or even if you do, I suggest doing it over the other tin, just in case the yolk breaks, you don't want the yolk in the cocktail. So I'm gonna drop that in here. And all that egg white will separate. Now we're gonna do what's called a dry shake. You're not gonna put any ice in this right now. You can just put all the ingredients together, the cocktail, the egg white. Seal that up really good. What keeps the shakers from separating when you're shaking it is that ice. The ice will start to chill down and metal and it'll start to contract. We don't have that added benefit, so just be really cautious when you're shaking this because it may come open and you'll end up wearing egg. So let's try not to get that. So let's give it a good shake. You want to shake this up pretty, pretty good. You know, normally we talk about shaking for about 10 seconds. With this, when you're trying to emulsify the egg, you want to probably take it to about 20 seconds instead. So just go ahead and shake and shake and shake and shake some more. And just when you think you're about done, shake it some more. There we go. And nothing got on it, so good. So now we're going to go ahead and add the ice and get this chilled down. And I kind of put it in the wrong side of the glass, so wrong side of the tin. Again, let's shake this up. Now this time you'll take it about the 10 second, 15 second like we normally do. All right, now that we got that done, you wanna go ahead and get yourself your rocks glass. And I have one here chilling. And get yourself an ice cube. If you have uh, one of those Silicone molds that make the large size ice cubes. That would be kind of good. If not, a couple pieces of ice. Let's just go with one large ice cube. And then we're going to go ahead and double strain that to get out any ice shards or anything like that. There you go. That is pretty. Normally, you'd also garnish this with a cherry. But as I went in the fridge, found out that uh, my kids ate the last of them. Let's get that nice little head on top of it. So the next thing I like to add is a little bit of bitters. Um, since we're using a Louisiana rum, um, Louisiana bitters and little pechos. We use two dashes of bitters. Now there are carbs in this, and if I did the math right, and I'm not saying that I did, but I think I did, there's 13 grams of carbs per ounce in the pechos bitters. Now, a dash, from what I can find out, is um, one thirty second of an ounce. So when I did the math and divided that up, it's 0 .0024 grams of carbs. And we'll be using two dashes, so we're at 0 .0048 grams of carbs. Virtually carbless in the bitters. So you're looking at the uh, lemon juice, two grams of carbs. The Splenda syrup that we made on demand, it's not that hard, just a couple little extra seconds. Um, that's gonna have um, one and a half grams of carbs, so we got three and a half grams of carbs. We can count the bitters and say, 
quarter, quarter of carbs, I don't know. It's really low. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two dashes of this on the top. Oh, look, there it is. It's starting to separate. That is nice. You get that nice little foam on the top. Two dashes of the Pecho's Bitters. Oh, that is one sexy cocktail. Ooh, that smells really good. Let's go ahead and let's dive into this. Mmm. One of my favorite cocktails. I said that just about all my videos because I think they're just about all my favorite cocktails. Well, that foam on the top as you sip, that foam comes and settles down in your mouth and kind of coats the mouth around. Um, so you got that flavor that just lingers delicious. You can taste some of that molasses from the rum, some of the oakiness from the barrels that it's aged in. That bitters, the pinch of bitters, and aromatic that it has on the front, delicious. Well, it has on the front that smells great, just really enhances that flavor. And that's one delicious cocktail. So my friends, that we have the low carb rum sour. Based on the Boston sour recipe, just substitute the whiskey for an aged rum, and there you have it. Going back again. Oh man, yes, 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 delicious. So guys, remember, drink responsibly and enjoy. If you like our videos, go ahead and subscribe. You can click right here. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. As a matter of fact, go ahead and leave me a comment. Tell me what your favorite cocktail is that uses an aged drum. And if there's viable substitutions, I'll show you how to make your cocktail low carb. Y'all have a great night.